In this video, we look at the construction of over categories, aka comma categories. We fix two functors, f and g, which share a common codomain category b. We define the category f over g to have objects as b morphisms, of which have domain in the image of f and codomain in the image of g. And we write such an object by a triple, x, f, x prime, where x is an a object, x prime is an a prime object, and f is a b morphism from fx to gx prime. And then an f over g morphism from an object xf x prime to yg y prime is a commuting square where h is an amorphism and h prime is an a prime morphism. We write this morphism as a pair h h prime. Then we note that there is a functor u from f over g to the product category of a and a prime which takes an f over g object xf x prime to x x prime and an f over g morphism h h prime to h h prime. And then this functor yields projection functors p lower script f from f over g to a and p lower script g from f over g to a prime by post composition of the projections from the product category a and a prime. Also note that there is a natural transformation phi from f p lower script f to g p lower script g with components phi x f x prime defined to be the b morphism f. We see that this indeed gives us a natural transformation by the definition of a f over g morphism. Then this structure that we have just described gives us a universal mapping property that over categories enjoy. Precisely, given functors q prime from a category c to a prime and q from c to a and a natural transformation alpha from fq to gq prime, there exists a unique functor h from c to f over g such that pfh is equal to q, pgh is equal to q prime, and phh is equal to alpha. For the proof, we define the functor h from c to f over g to take a c morphism f from x to x prime to qf q prime f from qx alpha x q prime x to qx prime alpha x prime q prime x prime. Since alpha is a natural transformation, this is a well-defined functor. Then we see that pfh is equal to q, pgh is equal to q prime, and phh is equal to alpha. Then if h prime is another such functor, then we also have that pfh prime is equal to q, pgh prime is equal to q prime, and phh prime is equal to alpha. And so we are forced to describe h prime to take the morphism f to qf q prime f which is how we define the functor h on f. Therefore, h is uniquely determined, and this completes the proof.